Uh, this is Seymour Rocks reporting from Down Under on a Sunday morning in New Zealand. Uh, I just want to um, do a short update uh, and just kind of look at some of the, uh, the contradictory statements uh, that are coming out and you have to conclude uh, really that they want to keep this from us uh, as long as they can. Uh, they're trying to calm the population down. They want to stop them from making any preparations. Uh, yeah, and it's just, I'll, I'll just show the absolute confusion. Anyway, um, so when I woke up this morning, I was told, because I, I don't listen to Radio New Zealand News very often, they came up with this um, uh, from the World Health Organization. So apparently uh, novel corona case numbers are stabilizing. According to the World Health Organization, they said it was too good. It was good news, but caution, it was too early to make predictions about whether the virus might have peaked. There's been a stabilization in the number of cases reported from Hubei. Michael Ryan, head of uh, WHO's um, emergencies program, said in a briefing in uh, Geneva, well, we know that the uh, numbers coming out of China are absolute rubbish, and I'll just uh, kind of be looking at that uh, just very, very briefly. Um, So, and then there's this, this, they're going really hard on with this coronavirus, WHO chief warns against trolls and conspiracy theories. Um, the director general told reporters that misinformation was making our work of our heroic workers even harder. Um, and then they give the false statistics. Um, I would also like to speak briefly about the importance of facts, not fear. So perhaps they ought to start with themselves. People must have accurate uh, information to protect themselves and others. Well, they're not getting it from the World Health, Health Organization, I can tell you. Um, and then as the Guardian says, misinformation on the coronavirus, misinformation on the coronavirus might just be the most contagious thing about it. Well, uh, yeah, uh, so I'll just uh, go to this. Uh, this morning, um, that's come out uh, from the Shedlock Corona Super Spreader infects 57 at hospital. A new report on 138 Corona cases reveals disturbing details, including the emergence of a super spreader. One patient admitted to a hospital in Wuhan, infected at least 10 healthcare workers and four other patients. Actual suspect total is 57. The patient who infected so many health workers had been placed in a surgical ward because of abdominal symptoms and the coronavirus was not initially suspected. Four other patients in that ward also contracted the disease, presumably from the first patient. The incident was a chilling reminder of the super spreaders in outbreaks of other corona diseases, SARS and MERS, uh, patients who infected large numbers of people, sometimes dozens. The phenomenon is poorly understood and unpredictable of epidemiologist nightmare. Super spreaders led to considerable transmission of MERS and SARS inside hospitals. Uh, so there we are. Um, I'll put a link to this uh, below. Uh, yeah, the first uh, US and Japanese uh, deaths. And this was interesting. Uh, now this person has done some arithmetic and he's divided. I think this is the, the proportion between the numbers of uh, confirmed cases and the number of deaths. And uh, he shows that in each one of them, um, 
the results come to the same, 2.1%, 2.1%. Uh, so he says coronavirus is a master of, uh, of math. Um, so let's just, uh, there, yeah. Now this is an example yesterday. Um, so this is the same publication. I think it's a, you know, uh, they do a kind of, you know, not a live stream. Anyway, uh, so at 11 a.m., uh, this is who says cases in China are slowing. Uh, the number of corona cases slowed in China for a second day, but it's too early to celebrate, World Health Organization said at a news conference. WHO Director Tedros, whatever his name is, uh, said that the fewer number of cases is good news, but cautioned the public not to read too much into the data. The numbers could go up again, he told reporters. As you know, epicurves can zigzag, referring to a diagram that shows the distribution of cases over time. So that was 11.47%. And then at 5.30, um, uh, we get another report saying the pace of new cases in China's Hubei picks up again uh, in a matter of hours. The number of deaths in Chinese Hubei province uh, from a coronavirus had risen by 81 to 699, the province's health commission said in a statement on its website. There had been a further 2,841 cases detected in Hubei, the epicenter of the outbreak, taking the total in the province to 24,953. Yeah, right. The World Health Organization earlier said it was encouraged by a slowing pace of new cases over the past two days. However, this latest data reverses that trend within the matter of hours. So this is the sort of thing that I'm, I, I'm talking about. Uh, and then there's this. I'm just going to play a very few seconds of this. Um, I'm not going to play the full uh, thing. So anyway, uh, let's just go. So uh, first of all, there's this. So there's absolutely no doubt that there's more... Uh, Okay, so it's, that looks pretty terrible. There's no doubt that there's more sort of kind of brutal treatment in China, horrible things being done to, um, to suppress this virus, as one would suspect. But just let's uh, kind of contrast it with this. Okay, so that is in um, in France, and of course nobody is uh, reporting on this whatsoever. Um, the scenes out of China, of course, are in line with their own traditions, which are pretty. Uh, pretty brutal and direct, um, but you have to see, well, what's going on elsewhere in the world, what's happening in, in, in France. So anyway, that, I just wanted to uh, show you that. <laughs> 